Good morning. Maybe very, very, very hungover today. Uh, let's go. Okay, so I'm in work now and we've actually had an amazing day. We've taken more money today in four hours than we did yesterday. So, that was a high five with sound effects. <laughs> Also, super exciting news. You know James Buckley, who was in The Inbetweeners? He um, has a YouTube channel, and one of my customers have just found me, because on his channel, he was talking about a game shop that he visited called Level Up. That's not my shop, but it was another shop. But then they Googled Level Up, came across me, found me, came to me, and gave me money. So in a weird way, thank you, James. But I, obviously I checked out his YouTube channel, which is complete it, mate, which is just genius. Um, and he does retro games and game plays and let's plays and all this. And from a business point of view, I thought, friend. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've just, I've just sent a business email out to him uh, offering not so much collaborations because he has much more followers than me, but I, I, I don't know. I just want to work with him. It'd be such a good opportunity to work with him if I could in any way, even if it's just that I give him games and he gives me a shout out or something. I don't know, but either way that it would be amazing if I did something with him. So I've got to ask you all a little favor. Please, 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 please go on Twitter please and um tweet him saying he should totally talk uh either work with tor athena visit tor athena or visit level up i please please i did this for harrisburg i begged you to get them to get me to come back and it worked so i i'm shamelessly shamelessly <laughs> begging you to tweet him and ask him to work with me saying oh she's amazing you should totally work with this girl <laughs> totally non-provoked at all <laughs> please i need money so bad <laughs> so we're off to go see sausage party now it's not one that we've been that excited about to go see but Yay! Something to watch, isn't it? Odium Limitless! <laughs> <laughs> People still comment that after I review it so much. What, that you say Odium Limitless all the time? Yeah, because they didn't like it when I kept saying Odium Limitless. Oh, I don't see why not. Odium Limitless is a perfectly good word. I, pr I swear Bunch to God, I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> <laughs> I should be. <laughs> so we just saw Sausage Party. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I... I need a minute. Okay, I need one of my friends to become a millionaire and just buy me that. Oh, actually, why can't I be a millionaire? Yeah, why do, I have, why do I have such little faith in myself that even in my fantasies, it's my <laughs> friends who are successful? What the hell? No, that's just a there is literally so many pineapple things in Primark. And luckily for my bank account, Primark is closed. <laughs> so I'm trying not to spend any money, but uh, I went into Oxfam today and I went into the history section. Mistakes were made, but I love Ian Kershaw. He made a biography just called Hitler, and honest, it's it's so thick you could kill a man with it. But it is one of the most in-depth and unbiased just accounts of his life. It's it's fascinating. And then there's this one which I've never actually heard of, um, and so I'm really really excited to read that one. And yeah, I didn't even know this one existed of Ian Kershaw anyway, but I just any time I see an Ian Kershaw book, I have to get it. And they were £2.50 each. And I'm very, very happy that I got them. And now they can go on my special shelf. On my special history shelf that is dedicated to just the Holocaust. Because I am a morbid, weird human being. And they have to go in height order. Because that's another thing that has to happen. Remember I said I always pick up an Ian Kershaw book? God damn it! <laughs> oh well, at least I have a prettier hardback version now, so... Woo! Oh, and do you remember I got this from Amsterdam? It's a graphic novel of Anne Frank's life. Mm. It was the only one they didn't have, like, because they obviously in the Anne Frank house they had so many books in so many different languages and the English version of that graphic novel was the only one they didn't have in hardback. I would have loved that in hardback. And then I've got my Stephen King books. I'm going to turn the light on, there we go. And I've got my Stephen King books 
And my Stephen King, I used to collect Stephen King like it was nobody's business. But I don't really collect books as much as I do now. I tr I'm trying to minimalise my life. And there's my Terry Pratchett books. And there's my Lord of the Rings books, except it's missing one because I have a bookshelf upstairs that once I've read the book, it'll go upstairs on that shelf. And... Although I've read a couple of these now on audiobook, so I guess that doesn't count anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this is the shelf of my most important books or collections. I had this used to also be a shelf of really pretty books, but they're in my shop in uh, the stockroom, being kept safe. Oh my gosh, I just came back from a cup of tea break, and I was like, it's a good job I'm not a stoner because I, th I, I'm sure I think like a stoner. I was just looking at my desk like, whoa. This looks like a desk. Like this looks like a proper desk where it has work stuff on it. And I've been working on it. It's a desk. I should never take drugs. <laughs> okay, this is how bad my obsessive list making has become to the point where I have now planned all of, like, I am planning minute by minute what I'm meant to be doing with my day. Even to the point where I've decided what I'm doing Monday and Tuesday as well all the way up to midnight on every night I love lists <laughs>